Welcome to this edition of Heritage Highlights with me, Chris Tracy, Archive Specialist at Norfolk Heritage Centre, located on the second floor of the Norfolk and Norwich Millennium Library. This ongoing series of brief talks considers key items from the Heritage Centre collection. And today we're looking at a small selection of photographs by the 19th century Norfolk photographer, William Finch. First, a bit of context. In 2010, an exciting discovery was made within the collections of the Heritage Centre when members of the Acle Community Archive were researching the work of photographer Eugenia Finch, a resident of Acle working during the 1860s to 1880s. It soon became apparent that Eugenia was the adopted business name of William Henry Finch born 1816, died 1883, and that many more remarkable photographs by this man and his family were present in the collection. However, as they were filed separately according to place and largely unattributed, they were not recognized as one body of work. Since then, over 500 fascinating Victorian photographs of rural Norfolk life by William and his three sons have been identified in the collections. Born in the Norwich Yards, for a time he lived in Wagon and Horses Lane off Elm Hill. Finch came from a working class background and took photographs as an entrepreneurial proposition. He was not, like so many photographers at that time, a gentleman amateur. Here we see him pictured in front of his cottage in Acle, with his outdoor studio and the barrow, which he would transport around the villages dotted around the area of the Broads, from Blowfield and Lingwood in the east, moving west to Great Yarmouth and stretching north to encompass Winterton-on-Sea. Finch was a canny businessman. This image, of villagers grouped on the green at Acle, is one of many highlighting how he would often include his barrow in the photograph, in this way exploiting the opportunity of a spot of self-promotion. With photography having been invented only 20 odd years before, Finch unsurprisingly had no trouble persuading curious onlookers to pose. Again taken at Aigle, this image shows the villagers gathered outside the King's Head Inn. Here, we see a group of men at Reedham, pausing for a moment before continuing with their work constructing barrels for herring. Photographs such as this and this one, which shows Reedham brickfields, illustrate that as well as simply being thoughtfully composed, evocative images of general interest in their own sake. Finch's photographs offer valuable insights to the social historian in their depiction of the occupations and day-to-day -day experiences of ordinary people in mid to late 19th century Norfolk. Here we see villagers haymakers at Tunstall, with their scythes and rakes, presumably having completed their day's work. Notice how two men to the left are raising large mugs, apparently in congratulation.
Finch's clientele was not limited, however, to the rural labouring classes. Then, as now, the desire to have one's photograph taken united people from across the social spectrum. Here we see a genteel game of croquet in progress on the lawn of Caister House. Notice the gardener to the left, apparently watering the flower beds, and someone looking down from the upper central window of the house. This scene, which could almost be a painting, shows Thurn Hall. In their considered pictorial organisation, in their seemingly artless concern to capture the details of daily life, and in the breadth of their subject matter, the photographs of William Finch constitute an extraordinary body of work and offer a fascinating window onto life in rural Norfolk in the 19th century. Many of them have been digitised. These, along with over 25,000 other images of Norfolk life, can be discovered via the Norfolk County Council online resource Picture Norfolk. Thank you to my colleague, Claire Everett, Picture Norfolk Administrator, for her assistance in preparing this edition of Heritage Highlights. And thank you for listening.